Once again, uh, welcome to a new problem. This time we have uh, a woman and, and she's uh, standing on a canoe and the, um, the actual length of the canoe happens to be five meters. So she's standing, uh, you know, one, one meter from, from the left. So this is, this is one meter from the left. Uh, and then she's going to walk towards the right uh, up until a position one meter uh, from the second edge of the canoe. So in between, we have three meters. And so she's going to be walking in that direction in the, in the right. Uh, so we'll assume the positive uh, is the right. And so as that happens, as she um, walks towards the right, uh, what's going to happen is the canoe will move towards the left. So, you know, eventually this is this is kind of what you're going to be seeing. It's going to move towards the left. Uh, and it's, it's going to move a specific distance. Uh, that's the distance we want to find out. Uh, we want to find out what this distance is right here. We're going to call it, um, um, we're going to call it, uh, D, uh, D canoe. And then uh, remember the, the, the woman is also moving uh, forward. So this distance right here is the distance traveled uh, by the woman. Uh, and we want to find out what, so this is the information. The information that's given is that uh, the mass of the woman happens to be 45 kilograms. And also the mass of the canoe happens to be 60 kilograms. That's the information given. Uh, the total length, as you can see, of the canoe, uh, this whole length right here, uh, is 5 meters. Okay, so the length of the canoe is uh, 5 meters. Uh, that's the information we're given. So we're going to use the law of conservation of momentum in this problem, and we want to find uh, the distance that the canoe moves with the with the woman inside of it so that's what we want to find uh, and this is the information that's given uh, so in terms of uh, law of conservation of momentum the initial momentum equals to the final momentum uh, initially both the uh, the woman and the canoe are not moving so would say that the initial velocity of the woman is uh, zero meters per second, and then uh, the initial velocity of the canoe is also um, zero meters per second. Uh, we don't know what the final velocity of the uh, uh, canoe and woman is. Okay, we don't know what that final velocity is going to be, uh, but it's going to be dependent on this distance right here. So you know, remember velocity is distance over time. So there's a time frame happening where the canoe and the, and the woman are moving. Uh, so C and W, you know, we don't know what that velocity is. So uh, coming back to the law of conservation of momentum, uh, we get to C. Uh, we get to see that the initial velocity, the initial momentum uh, of the woman is the mass of the woman times high initial velocity. And then the initial momentum of the canoe uh, is the mass of the canoe. Um, and the initial momentum um, and the velocity, initial velocity of the canoe. This is equal to the final velocity. Remember, the, the canoe and the woman are moving towards the left. So it means that their total mass 
times the combined velocity, uh, the velocity will be negative. That's why we have a minus there. And then you, um, you put uh, uh, that is going to be equal to, um, uh, remember also at the final part, the woman is moving forward. So she has her own final velocity. Okay, this is final velocity. I, th I think we have to change these variables a little bit. Okay, so um, this one, yes, this one is the final velocity of the canoe and the woman, and it's negative. Um, and then we also want to find the uh, final velocity of the woman herself because she's moving to the right, so it's positive. Uh, the initial momentum of the system is zero because they're not moving, so this is going to be zero equals to uh, negative mass of uh, canoe, mass of woman, uh, final velocity of both of them, uh, plus final momentum of uh, the woman. Our goal is to solve for uh, this distance, dc, and so we can shift things around and, and have the the mass of the woman and the final velocity of the woman equals to uh, 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 mc plus mw uh, final velocity of woman and canoe like that so uh, they are combined uh, they are combined together well actually you know what uh, we can actually simplify this problem by saying the um the um, the instead of having the the woman combined here, we could just have the uh, the canoe itself. So we could just have the final uh, final velocity of the canoe. We don't have to include the the woman. I, I think there's an understanding there of, of what's going on um, right here. Because it's combined, so the canoe is carrying both of them. Okay, so even this one right here, this is the final. So we just want to make sure that our variables are right. So this is the final velocity of the canoe. Uh, this is the final velocity of the canoe, and that's the final velocity of the canoe. So that's what we have at the moment. On the next page, we're going to complete the problem. So uh, what we're saying is that uh, the mass of the woman and the final velocity of the woman equals to the combined mass of the canoe and the woman uh, with the final velocity of the canoe. Um, remember, velocity uh, for the woman is a distance she traveled over her time. And then the velocity of the canoe is the distance the canoe traveled uh, over time. That's, those are the basic definitions that we have right there. And so mass of woman, distance traveled by woman over time. Um, remember, the woman is traveling this way, and the canoe is traveling that way. So this is the distance traveled uh, by the woman, and then this is the distance traveled by the canoe. And we're trying to get the distance traveled by the canoe, this one right here. And so... Uh, this one equals to mass of canoe plus mass of woman uh, distance of canoe over time. We're going to multiply both sides by the time to get rid of it. And so this cancels out. And that cancels out. And so we have a formula for the distance traveled by the canoe. And that happens to be the... Uh, mass of the woman, distance traveled by the woman, all over the mass of the canoe plus the distance, uh, the mass of the woman. So the mass of the woman happens to be 45 kilograms. And then the distance traveled by the woman, we're given that as, if you go back, you see it happens to be uh, three meters. We're going to have three meters right there. And then divided by the mass of the canoe is 60 kilograms. 
uh, and then the ma uh, the the uh, plus we want to add it we want to add the number so there's a plus in between plus the mass of the woman which is uh, 45 kilograms and so when we simplify that problem we get the distance traveled by the canoe becomes uh, 1.285 meters hope you enjoyed the problem feel free to ask uh, any questions or send comments my way uh, and have a wonderful day okay thanks bye